Hello there people, today's video is going to be about the budget. Now the budget has just come out, Rishi Sunak has been sitting down his books, sitting counting the pennies and the pounds, working out what he's going to give with discount on. A lot of it hasn't changed, I mean, if you, I mean, fuck me, we've had all this fucking pandemic to think about over the past fucking year and a half or whatever it is now, but if you go back, take your mind back to when the budget used to be coming out, we used to just sit there and think, oh, I hope beer's cheap, I hope cigarettes is cheap, I hope this is cheap, that's cheap. It was always fucking certain things. No one's even fucking thinking about them now. Everyone's just thinking, are we going to get help? Are we going to get shit on? Do you know what I mean? I mean, he's fucking froze the prices on the beer now anyway, like, so. <laughs> They've extended the furlough till September, I think it is now. So that tells me something that I don't think... Well, everyone's saying in fucking, was it June or July 21st? Everything's meant to open again. Everyone's been booking holidays, fucking going crazy and that. I've not took nothing with a fucking pinch of salt just yet because, well, you, you can't take it for granted. You don't know what's going on. And like I say, he's fucking extended the furlough. So you obviously know something what we don't. I think they're going to fucking have the lockdown even fucking further past June and July. I think they're going to, I mean, they keep fucking coming out with, oh, there's a Brazilian variant now, there's this variant, there's a fucking, you know what I mean, a Hawaiian variant, well, it's not really a Hawaiian one, but, you know, but just, the, the, every time we feel like we're starting to get somewhere, a fucking something else comes up and guns tits up, and it's all money at the end of the day, it's all money what the economy's losing, it's all money what fucking we're going to have to pay back, like things like furlough, everyone was loving it on furlough, oh yeah, I get to sit in the house and I get fucking paid, no, no. We have to pay this back, man. You didn't get nothing for fucking free in this world. At all. In any shape or form. I, I'm going to be paying this for the rest of my life. Then when I retire, my kids are going to be paying it. And then their kids are going to be paying it. There's going to be about three fucking generations of the same family paying this fucking bill. And if you don't believe us, if you don't believe that shit can stretch on for a long fucking time. I mean... It was, when was it? 2015. Britain finally paid the final payment for fucking slavery being abolished. 2015. Yes, you heard that correctly. If you don't believe us, go on Google and have a fucking look. But it wasn't until 2015 that we paid, paid the final payment to the banks or whoever the fuck it was that lent them the money. Well, basically what happened when they fucking abolished slavery, this is what must have happened. All the people that had slaves turned around and went, well, they make us money, so what, what's the crack? I, 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 what, so we've just got to get rid of our slaves, but we'll fucking lose out in the cash to it. So, at the time, the government had to get a fucking bank loan. I think it was about £30 million. But, I mean, in the 1800s, you know, you can imagine it's about £2.5 or something nowadays. And... The base, he got this fucking bank loan, about 30 million. I can't remember exactly how much, but it was roughly about that. And they fucking paid everyone off. Now, we've had to, we as a country, our government lent that money, but the people who paid back, not these fucking people who are rich, who had the fucking slaves, them bastards, they didn't fucking pay it back. They just got their hands out and got fucking paid. But the last payment got paid in 2015. And that was from fucking slavery. You know, everyone always thinks slavery was from fucking... No, no, we've only just fucking finished paying for it now. We've only just... I mean, five, yeah? What? Like, six, yeah? And we've only just fucking paid for it in the fucking future. It's crazy, isn't it? You would never, like, associate, like, a fucking... Anything over... Like, even over fucking the year 2000, you know what I mean, the millennium, you would never fucking still expect in the new millennium that we're still paying for it, but this is what happens, this is how the fucking, how the stretch it, and people just get paid and paid and paid, I mean, you can imagine the fucking interest what was slapped on top, you know, but it, it had to be paid eventually, someone had to fucking pay it, you never really hear much about that, do you? That it was just 2015 that we're fucking finally just paid our final payment for the fucking slavery. Slavery was fucking disgusting. It was a disgusting fucking thing that happened in this fucking planet. And we should never ever resort back to them fucking days ever again. Ever again. That's that's like mod on fucking human history. You know what I mean? It's fucking disgusting. And like I say, we've only just fucking eventually paid for it. So if you think... 
this pandemic's going to be paid off in just a few fucking years. Better think again. You better think again. Honestly, this is fucking... This is why all the bankers, they always fucking clap their hands every time there's fucking summer going tits up. Because they always say, let's take advantage of it. You can fucking never let a good crisis go to waste to speak. To you. That's their fucking motto, man. Never let a fucking good crisis go to waste. And I didn't think they intend on doing that. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous, man, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. They're all fucking gangsters, man. They're all gangsters. What we should be doing, instead of me paying for it, my kids and their kids, we should turn around to Jeff Bezos and say, look it, Amazon was more or less the only fucking thing open all the way through this, so instead of us putting that sort of fucking shit onto our fucking kids' heads, you know what I mean? That much fucking responsibility on our fucking future generations. How about Bezos gets his hand in his pocket? Because he doesn't pay much taxes at all in the UK, so maybe it's about time. And he kind of see he's fucking skint, he's got any money because he's doubled his wealth. Doubled it. So where he's doubled his wealth, everyone else is fucking skint. And we've got naught to look forward to for the rest of our life. Neither of our kids, because they're now for a fact. There's, it doesn't matter how much money they earn. They're going to get loads taken off to pay for this fucking pandemic. That's exactly what's going on. That's what's happening in the world today, people. <laughs> you hear the fucking here first, man. Come on. Anyway, hope you have a fantastic fucking day. Help each other out. Be nice to each other. Don't be a twat to each other, because it's not fucking... It's not nice, is it? Just do something nice for people, and it makes you feel fucking good about yourself. That's what it's all about. See you later, people. I love the fucking lawyers. Draw. <laughs>